Hey guys, Neil here. And Ben, in the background. I've confined him to the background because he is outshining me on most social platforms now. But I am being <laughs> by eBay. And I've got proof now. Here it is. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this video. Just a quick one, please. Hit the like button on this video. It has an enormous effect with all the YouTube algorithms to promote my videos to a larger audience. So one quick click from you, just on the like, the thumbs up, can go an awful long way to getting my videos out to a larger population, get them watching my content. Thank you. Over to the video. Anyway, guys, so I tell you, we're having a right result today. Well, I have and I haven't because uh, I've also had an extremely expensive morning. However, said boxes of clothing have been on various different platforms for sale over the last probably 10 days now. I've managed to shift, I'm exp I've been experimenting. If you see my last video that I made and just posted, um, you'll see that uh, a, a, a viewer, a YouTube viewer got in touch with me through my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Neil Barker official link down the bottom. Uh, he got in touch and I was just chatting over with a fair few things with him. And it turns out that he kind of does this sort of thing as a profession, whereas I'm a little dabbler. And he, and we were discussing ways of selling things. Now, selling individual items, as we have been doing on the setup here, is uh, is nice. And I think that's the maximum bang for your buck. However, um, it's also extremely costly and time consuming. So, he, we were chatting about bulk listing, and he's like, actually, you know what, it's easier than you think. And as I think about a lot of things, I think I make it really hard in my head. So, I went straight ahead 10, uh, 10 days ago, and I think I, Yada 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 in the last video about it, but I sold one box here, one box there, another box here, uh, you know, 60, 40, 45 quid, depending on the contents of it. But trying to work out an average of what I'm offering to people, average weights, average items, different, uh, different items in there, different genders, kids, babies, girls, boys. Anyway, had a result because this lady called Ellen, which was, she was super nice. Um, she bought one box and wanted to come and have a look at some more. And I'm like, actually, you know what? Let's let's open that avenue up because predominantly this has all been about e-commerce and shipping, but yes, come on in. Um, I got a ton, I had to sort of think to myself, what rules do I place down about? Because what I want to do is, you know, yes, it's making loads of money if you, are, if you list the items and they sell, that's going to make the maximum profit margin. But if I can shift this stuff, I've got a hundred of these boxes sat out there or I did have, um, that's going to take quite a long time to do. So if I can, shift these and make a little bit and then give the other people the chance to make a little bit more, um, especially in this lockdown, then it's a win-win. It frees up capital for me to be able to reinvest and it gives other people the chance to uh, to sell on. Helen bought a box, said, can I come and have a look at some other stuff? So I'm like, yeah, absolutely, come on down. I don't really want to split the boxes, but have by all means, there'll be a minimum of this kilo and a minimum amount of these clothes in, but thereafter, go for your life. So she came on down and, um, and and it turns out that she bought 11 boxes. Absolutely fantastic. And I can't grumble at that. Some serious readies made today. So, you know, we're down from like 100 down to about eight, uh, 85 boxes left. Still tons more to go, but that was a really, uh, really great result. And she may come back for more once she sold those. And it's exactly what this is designed for. <laughs> you had your hands in <laughs> like you're trying to avoid the camera. <laughs> Yeah, it was just, that's Ben. I don't even know if you can hear me. Yeah, but you can, yeah. Um, anyway, apparently dog chewed his AirPod the other day, but I'm not allowed to say that. And they're not AirPods, they're Samsung things. <sighs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> um, so anyway, <laughs> that made me laugh. So, um, where was I? Yes, no, that was the right result. However, you know what wasn't a result? Whilst, and I did miss Helen, I managed to catch her as she was leaving. Um, ben dealt with her, which is amazing. He was the deal monger. Um, but whilst homeschooling my five-year-old this morning, he decided that while I go and make some lunch, he would do that to my Mac Pro, Pro screen. Um, yes, so unfortunately there was a pen there and he shut the lid unintentionally on the pen lid. I came back to it, coming to work this afternoon because we're running shifts between my wife and I and I have one very smashed Mac Pro screen, which to be honest, is gonna cost that much. So, what a, what a morning, yes. Um, anyway, so a profitable and yet a very costly morning, not just for my gray hairs. Do, do, do.
<laughs> TikTok champion. Check out his link in the in the description below. Give him a like, follow him. He loves it. He loves it. I'm only jealous, to be honest. So yes. So anyway, so shipping this stuff is actually working really well. However, how has eBay eBay screwed me now? All the way through last year in these pallets of goods, they were selling on eBay really well. We were shipping things between five and 10 items a day, sometimes more over the weekend, we were hitting 30 odd. Come uh, come December, start to slow down January. You know what? There was a few things that I did to boost sales a little bit, but we're shipping hardly one item a day now, and it's awful. And there's lots of people say, well, it's because it's after Christmas or before Christmas, or it's the lockdown, this, that, and the other, but you know what? The money's out there, people are buying, but they're just not buying my stuff. So Helen, I was talking to her and she said, you know what, Neil, I could not get in contact with you. Oh, this is eBay ringing now. I better take this call. That's good timing.